the sun will rise. Episode 3 Hello, ma'am. Oh, hello, welcome. My name is Anastasia. I'm a friend of Anya Federchuk. I can't get through to her and I can't find her at home. Well, dear, you're trying in vain. She's in jail. In jail? Why? She stole a car, crashed, and it resulted in two policemen injured. That's impossible. Anya couldn't do that. My dear, you have no idea what people are capable of doing sometimes. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be going now. These are very important pills. My mom prescribed them, and you need to take one tablet three times a day. Thanks so much. Take one right now. Mm, I feel like I know you. Of course you do. I come here every day. In the car with another girl. You know, you should really take the pills, get some rest, and then we'll talk some more. <laughs> Is everything all right? I heard your memory's coming back, right, Mom? Yeah, but it's fragmented. I still don't see the big picture. Take it, Mrs. Svetlana. You see how good it is when a competent doctor is close to the family? That's nice of you. Shall we go work on the thesis? Yeah. Mom, will be at the library for a few hours, okay? Of course. Go ahead. Everything is so strange. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Mrs. Kazanseva. She hasn't been here for quite some time. She's seriously ill. I see. So is she at home right now? I guess, but I can't give you her address. I've no need. I know it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please come in. I came to talk to you again. Listen. My niece isn't guilty. And you have to... you have to confirm this, please. Your niece? What, what niece? Excuse me, who are you? Are you serious right now? <sighs> Look, I am Anya Fedorchuk's aunt. I don't understand. I don't remember. What is this nonsense? There was a terrible accident. An accident. Well, don't you remember anything at all? Uh, I don't remember. I thought I remembered something this morning. Uh, I had a stroke. I'm not feeling well. I'm going to lie down. Okay, please forgive me. I can't talk now. She'll be imprisoned because of you. Do you realize this? All rise, the justice of the court. The sentence will be announced. The court sentenced the accused Anya Fedorachuk to be found guilty and sentenced to imprisonment for a period of three years. Take the accused into custody in the courtroom. The verdict can be appealed to the Supreme City Court within 10 days from the date. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty, Ira. I'm not guilty. 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 I'm not guilty, I'm not guilty Ira. I'm not guilty. <laughs> Come
Come on, move it, move it, move it. Line up against the wall, facing me. Move it, move it, let's go. Faster, come on, faster. Listen to me. Listen carefully because I'm only going to say it once and only once. I am your warden, you hear me? Margarita Petrovna Stepanova. No need to think of a nickname for me. I've already got one. I'm the Great Queen Margot. This warden is a real bitch. I know her. This is my second time here. Whatever. I'm not going to argue with her anyway. She doesn't care. Silence! Let's get to know each other, shall we? Agasheva! Here. Rachnoa. Here. Avdienka. Here. Svirina. Here. Welcome back. Fedorchuk. Here. This is going to be your home for a long time. So if you behave well, you won't be having any problems at all. But if you cause trouble and try to play smart, you'll have huge problems. I can promise you that. Is that clear? I said, is that clear? Or you can get acquainted with our PC. It's clear. The PC? The punishment cell. It's better not to go there. Let's get moving. Come on, come on, start walking, come on. What's the matter, Svirina? Do you have a prosthetic leg? My legs are tired. Come on, stop complaining and keep walking, Svirina. Come on. A woman came by to see me this morning. She was... She was very upset, but I don't remember why. Mom, you already said that. It was two weeks ago. Really? It was two weeks ago? Yes. Do you want me to tell you a story from your childhood? I remember the apple trees bloomed so beautifully in the garden. And you were running around, wearing a very funny cap, and shouting, Mom! Mom, why are there apple trees in the snow? Mom, why doesn't the snow melt? The white snow. No improvement in my mom's memory. She only remembers things that happened a hundred years ago. She needs time. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> you should teach me to cook. It should simmer for five more minutes, then turn it off. Give it to your mom this evening. Vika, I really appreciate all this. You're a true friend. You're welcome. I've been wanting to ask for some time now. This girl Anya, were you dating her? Anya? Uh, she disappeared a long time ago. I haven't heard from her. Forget her. Let's change the subject. Oh, I've got to go to the gym. Sorry I asked about her. Thanks for the soup. <laughs> It in and pulled it, reeled it in and pulled it. Hello and then there. I, hello. Well, have you been fishing? On the weekend, I caught a pike. Okay, let's deal with this case now. Then we can talk fishing. Yours are just empty promises. It's always a case. That's enough. Good afternoon. Uh, yes, hello. Mr. Oh. Igor, could we talk? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, you see, we want to take a paper to court. We'll be seeking financial compensation for the car. Well, we want Anya Fedorchuk to pay. 
My husband forgot about doing this. We need to buy a new car, but we're not millionaires, you know. All right, then. I'll do it for you. Where's Anya? Dorkchuk. Yes? I was doing a little research on your case. It looks like you enjoy stealing people's cars, right? And driving at high speed? No, I do not. Because of people like you, my poor sister was in a coma for an entire month. The bastards ran her over. You will pay for everything. You're just as bad as they are. But wait, I want to explain. I wasn't driving that day. There was another girl. She set me up. Come over here. For any wrongdoing, I will punish you mercilessly. You're going to beg to be put in the punishment cell. Do you understand? <laughs> Sidorova, come on. Oh. Behave yourselves. Move it. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come in. Hello. Hello, what do you want? I want to visit Anya in jail. Can I do it? Permission to visit is given by the CEO of the correctional institution upon request from the prisoner or from the person planning to visit. In this case, that means you. Call them yourself. They'll explain everything to you. I see. I understand. Thank you. One more thing. Uh, is Anya allowed to apply for early parole? Well, in reality she can, but I think she should complete her full term. Her sentence isn't that long. She'll understand her lesson. She understands everything. Um, also, the characteristics from the administration of the jail should be appropriate. So needs to repent, have exemplary behavior, and pay the damage in full or in part. By the way, about the damage, the Krasnitskys are suing for compensation. What do you mean? Your niece is going to have to pay for all the damages done to the totaled car. Add to this money for the moral damage, it's an impressive amount. But why? How come? First of all, she was set up, and now she has to pay? Nobody set her up. You don't know anything! We know enough. And your niece must have clearly understood the consequences of her criminal actions. All the best, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Have a good day. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you think you can help me? Yes. I'm looking for Anya, your neighbor. Have you seen her? Anya? Yes. I haven't seen her in a very long time. Ira, 
her aunt. She's got a mind of her own. You never get to know anything from her. Just hello. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Anya must have gone somewhere. Gone somewhere? I assume. Okay. Thank you. And who are you to her? <laughs> I don't know. Goodbye, ma'am. I'm a bit tired. Mm. Well, the project is doing well. By the way, I came up with the slogan myself. You're very talented, Anton. You bet I am. I want to talk. <laughs> she seems to be that criminal's aunt. Yes, we saw her in the courtroom. <sighs> Listen. The investigator said that you'll claim for the damages? For the damaged car? Are you going to pursue her forever? No. Just until she pays. For our losses and damages. That will take half of her life to do that. She has nothing. She has no money. That's not our problem. <sighs> but... Uh... I'm sorry, but we have nothing to talk about. She should have thought about that before getting into someone else's car. Anton, open the door, please. I want to place an ad. And I would like to put my car up for sale. Max! Hey, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hey, bro. Where have you been? Uh, I've been busy. Ah, I see. Schoolwork, right? Yeah, schoolwork. We all went rafting last week. Really? How was it? Well, Ilya fell out of the boat. <laughs> it was his fault. <laughs> really? But he said it was ours, of course. He'll no, never of admit course. it. It's always, oh, you're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, can you get away for a while? Why don't you come with us next week? Clear your head a bit. I'm sorry, Alex, I can't. I'm busy with my mom and finishing my thesis. Already finishing? Yeah. Wow, I'm just at the beginning. I'm sure. That's because you go rafting instead of doing your work. You better get to it. Graduation's coming soon. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, you know. I'll manage. I'll manage. You'll manage. Did you find your Anya? Well, it seems like everything's over. She left town. I talked to her neighbor a week ago. So come on. Stop torturing yourself. In the end, Anya isn't the only girl in the world. You agree? Yeah, I agree. My mind understands it. But I can't help it. Wonderful. I love you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you.
I won't be here next Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm going to visit Anya. Okay. I'll look for someone to work. Yes, thank you. Yara, are you really going to sell the car? It's a memory. I've already sold it. I put everything that I had on the account and paid the Krasnitskys today. It was just enough. I've done everything, so... Anya won't have to deal with this problem all by herself. I don't understand you at all. Let Anya pay for everything. Are you going to stay with nothing? I just had to do it. Listen, please. Let's not talk about this anymore. And Anya doesn't need to know, okay? <sighs> She's suffering enough as it is. Uh, honestly, I didn't expect this. Well, I was sure for some reason. Mom, Dad, hello. Hello, hello. darling. Ooh. What are we celebrating? We're looking for a new car. How about a Jeep, huh? We'll pay a little more. That criminal's aunt decided to pay for the car. Oh, yeah? So they resigned themselves. Maybe a sedan. What do you think, huh? Well, what kind of sedan? How about a car for me? No, no, no. You can buy your own car when you graduate from the university and start earning money at your dad's business. No other options? Dad? <laughs> okay. Then let's discuss a personal driver. Vika. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was only kidding. Maybe a blue one? No, I want a red one. Oh, please, Mom. Ugh, women. This one. Hera. <laughs> Anya. Anya. How are you? It's hard. Anya, it's good to see you. I, I brought you many things. Anastasia sent you some honey, and I also, I, I also got you the book that you've been asking me for. Uh, um, what else? Uh, oh, uh, a pair of, of pure woolen socks. Uh, and some warm tights. So after my visit, they promised to give it to you. Thank you so much. And I won't take it for granted. Hang in there, sweetie. Okay? Anya, I found out that if you behave well, you can request to be released on early parole and you can come home. That would be great. Were you able to find Maxim? No, I didn't. It's time for you to forget him. Ira, I can't. Please find him. Anya, that's enough. Look, you don't need him. But why not? Because he... <sighs> He's got his own life. Okay. What if I find him? What next? I tell him everything. So what? Vika will say her own version of the story. The investigator will confirm it. Are you certain that he is still waiting for you? No. I'm not sure if he is.
eat, you need to eat. No, I don't. Hey, still hungry? Eat, Anya. Good. Congratulations. See you guys later. Hold this for me. Give me. Congratulations on graduating. <laughs> Congratulations on your red diploma. Job well done. Do you know where you want to work? Yeah, well, my mom's friends promised to help. There's a vacancy in the police department for an economist. By the way, I talked to my father. Mm. He's willing to offer you a job. Yeah? Are you serious? A worthy salary, a nice office as a bonus, and I'd be nearby. Really? Vika, are you serious? I am. Ugh. Thank you very much. You're a true friend. Well, let's go. This is wonderful. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, how are we doing here? I'll finish soon. There's not much left. Nimble one, huh? Okay. This one should be done also. I can't anymore. Everyone's sleeping already, and look, my hands are on fire. Do you want to go to the PC? There's plenty of time until morning. Do everything and go to bed. I want every potato looking perfect. I'll check back in an hour. Bakakhte Agency. Come in. May I? Yeah, come in. Good afternoon, Maxim. What's up? You're doing well, I was told. Two months is enough to know that you're a wonderful employee. Vika's doing a great job, too. Yes, Vika's a great friend. Well, if you ever need anything, you can always count on me. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck. <laughs> Mom, where's Dad? He's working. Let's talk about Maxim. What? I can't stand listening to his stories about his mom anymore. How she's been eating, how she's been drinking, how she's been feeling. Well, she is his mother, Vika, and he takes care of her. He has no one else, so he worries. I'm sick of it. We can't go to the movies, we can't even talk. He's running home immediately after work saying, my mom this and that all day long. Do you want some chocolate? From the grateful patients? No. From a classmate. He was in the hospital and knows my little weaknesses. Uncle Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> Him. Uncle Jenna. You know, Mom, I'll take some tea with pleasure. Yeah? Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Have a lot of work? Yeah, there's some problems with the report. I have to stay here until tonight. Can I help? No, thanks. You have a lot of work yourself. Well, I'm here if you need me. Mm-hmm. Okay. 23...
Are you almost finished? <sighs> I'm almost finished. I need to go and cook dinner. I gotta get going. What a cool bag. I want one for my dad as a present. What do you think? Wait, seriously? I don't think it's his style. Yeah? You're probably right. Say hi to your mom. Goodbye. Yeah. My only hope is to get early parole. Mm-hmm. I don't think you'll get it. Don't get your hopes up. And why not? Are you dumb or just pretending to be? She clearly told you that she would make you pay. You're doing all the dirty work. And I'm only with you for the company. But I do everything. She doesn't care, Anya. Why can't you understand? She said that you won't have a life. So you'll come here and do what she says to do. Do you want the truth? <sighs> no, I don't. I hope that one day I wake up and she's gone. Never to be back again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Anya, let's clean this. They said that if we didn't, we'd go work to the heat pipeline. Do a good job. Hi, Mom, I'm home. <sighs> Mom, what have you done? What's the matter? What is this? What's that? Well, you tell me, did you want to set fire to the apartment? No, of course not. I haven't done anything. You haven't? What's this? Where'd you get these matches? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I don't know what to do. She might burn down the apartment. Should I hire a nurse? Can you afford it? <sighs> I don't know, probably not. Mm. Well, there's one good option. A nursing home. No. Wait, at least listen to me. I'd never do that to my mom. As you wish. But maybe next time things will turn out even worse. I understand. But I can't do that to her. My mom has a classmate, Uncle Jenna. He runs one of these houses. Listen, Maxim. He can arrange everything for her restoration. She'll be under great supervision there. She'll like the place. I won't insist. But think about it. Look, this isn't fair. Isn't it strange that we always get stuck with the hardest jobs? Well, Svirina, it's because you've got to work better. You've been fine, so you have to take care of the landscaping. So digging up the pipeline is a landscaping job now? Are you hard of hearing or something? Look, I even got you Fedorchuk to come help you. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get started, go, start digging. Faster, faster! You're not at the beauty spa. Come on, Snow White. Come on, go! Grab a shovel and dig. Come on! Come on, let's go! What's wrong, Fedorchik? Is it too hard? Stealing a car is a lot easier, I bet. Why are you silent? Answer me, bitch! Ah! Did you see that, Fedorchuk? And it was an accident. She's bleeding. She needs help now. Well, didn't you want her to disappear? I did. Now it doesn't matter. <sighs> Anya Fedorchuk speaking. Warden Stepanova is seriously wounded. We are near the heating pipeline. We need urgent medical attention. Hurry up, please. Come in, please. Well, this is your room, Mrs. Venlana. It's very nice. 
We have a full-time masseur, various procedures, a wonderful dining room, and a magnificent staff. That's great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Well, Mom, do you like it? Will you come visit me? Of course I will. Then I like it. Thanks, Uncle Jenna. This is like a luxury suite. Well, then my job is done. Now please say hello to your mother. I definitely will. Mrs. Svetlana, here are your pills. I'll put them in this drawer. Three times a day, remember? Remember? Mom, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Come on, get some rest. I promise you'll be okay. The guys went to the Institute after our rafting trip and our pockets were all full of token cedar bark. <laughs> <laughs> well, an accounting teacher at my university was weird. Before the end of the year, he'd let us pass our exams. But after that, do you know what he said? I'm going to destroy each and every one of you now. <laughs> destroy? Is he Darth Vader or what? <laughs> Can you imagine I'll destroy that? You. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 This is Masha, the new secretary. She brought me a Christmas tree. A snow maiden, <laughs> I see. Well, you've had your fun. Now get to work. Shall we get back to work? Oh, yes, we shall. Yes, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I asked everyone, so the warden was operated on, and she's getting better. That's really good. What does good mean? Did you hear what I said? She's going to mock you again. Well then, so be it. <laughs> I just did what I had to do. You're noble, right? I studied medicine to help people. You know what? Just wait until she completely ruins you, but don't come running to me, you hear? Hey, Snow Maiden. Yes? Listen to me. I see how you're looking at Maxim, and just so you know, he is mine. I'm afraid. You don't decide that. Oh, but I do. End of story. So you don't understand the nice way? Look, just leave me alone. He's cool, I like him, and I'm not going to back down. Shana. Hey. Is there a problem? You sounded so sad over the phone. Thank you. Thank you. We have a new girl at the office on probation. She's after Maxim. I told her to lay off and she was rude to me. Oh. One girl was trying to get with my boyfriend at the club last night. So I made it very clear. Well, that's right. Can you help me out with this? <laughs> For you, my cousin, I'll do whatever you want. Tell me where to find her. Her address. Are you in a hurry, honey? I have a message for you. Quiet! Ah! Quiet! Ah! Be quiet! Did you get my message? Leave me alone, okay? That was a warning. Forget about Maxim. And starting tomorrow, I won't see you in our office. Is that clear? You're crazy. I'll report you to the police in the morning, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Why do you ask? 
The duty girl told me the warden was released from the hospital and they've seen her here on the premises. I thought she wouldn't be around anymore. Mm-hmm, it's been good without her. No one to mock us. I can't take it anymore. I won't get early parole. The warden won't allow it. I can't stand to do my full sentence. I don't know, Anya. Think of something nice. I think about my daughter when I feel down. It helps me a bit. Well, I think about Maxim. It was very good, although very short. Oh, get ready. The queen is back. <sighs> Good morning, convict. Fedorchik, follow me. So, how's the new secretary doing? I have no complaints. It's strange that Masha quit so unexpectedly. They say she's got a boyfriend and began skipping work. I think that's irresponsible. Do you miss her very much? Not really. She was fun to be with. Do you want to go out? We haven't gone out in a while. Sure, let's go. Movies? Okay. Vika, I wanted to thank you for supporting me. You're right about my mom. She's being supervised. And I'm feeling a whole lot better. Maxim, you can always count on me. <laughs> I was told in the hospital that if you hadn't stopped the bleeding, I would have died. I've been thinking. I had a lot of time there. Thank you. You didn't have to help me. I did what I had to do. As far as your case goes, maybe you were set up, maybe it's true. You don't look like a bitch. You've got compassion and a heart. Let's do this. Let's forget about the past. It's just that... that what happened to my sister years ago... How's she doing? She's okay. She's even driving now. I wouldn't be able to drive after that, but... But she can. That's good to hear. So listen to me. Anya. I... will help you with early parole. I will do my best so that you go home on early release, all right? Do you mean that? Shh. Thank you.